they have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Hurry, way downtown. Bang! Right now, I'm at the park and it's always fun. It's always a good vibe. You meet dogs, you meet people. You go and shoot some hoops and you look up, you see this. This is a double rim, AKA the bane of any basketball player's existence. Way back in the 1970s, all rims were called single rims. These are ones found in pretty much any indoor basketball gyms and the ones you see when you watch an NBA game. But the single rims outdoors kept breaking. Excessive dunking, weather, and just more wear and tear spurred the invention of the double rim. These had a much thicker curve to it and they proved to last much longer, which means less cost, which means, you guessed it, more double rims. So why do basketball players everywhere sigh when they see this monstrosity? These had a much thicker curve that, while protected against damage, also, you guessed it, made it really hard to shoot. See how far that shot is bouncing? Because of the thickness of the rim, bounces are significantly exaggerated, and if you're not going to swish your shot, it gets a lot harder to make those jumpers. Now, how do you combat this? It's actually going to be the spin of your shot. It's a really underlooked part of basketball, much more common in football, and I'll demonstrate very shortly. You see, the more spin we put on the ball, the more frictional force the ball will have. In practical terms, this means that the ball will be coming towards the rim slower, and once it hits those dummy thick double rims, it'll bounce significantly less and, at best, give you another chance to shot at going in. At worst, it'll save you from a long rebound with your team out of position. You can see this when I uh, drop the basketball like this, it bounces very far apart, but if I spin it, like how we all do, it's a much softer bounce. So the result is, if I take a shot with no spin, it bounces very high up because of the double rim. See how soft that bounce was? If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to be releasing one next week with a very similar style about how Steve Nash made his layup nearly unblockable. I'm going to link to that video when it comes out in the description uh, if you're watching this after, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. Hope your shot goes down a little bit better next time you play. Have a good one.